Hey, Mariana, tell me what you know about the Earth and the Moon. Um, I know that the Moon orbits around the Earth, but besides that, I don't know very much. Hmm. What do you think about the size between them? Um, would the Moon be a lot smaller than Earth? Hmm. I, I think the Moon is smaller than the Earth, but uh, I guess we could ask the question, how much smaller? One way that we can understand the difference between things like planets and moons, because we're standing on one and we can only see the other, uh, we can understand them better with models. I've got a great little modeling activity to help us understand the size difference and the difference between the Earth and the moon. And the best part of this is you can do it at home. Hi, I'm Dave from Saturday Morning Astrophysics at Purdue. And with me today is Mariana. Hi, I'm Mariana. I'm a student at Purdue. Well, thanks for help us, helping us out today. So, Mariana, let's go ahead and get started. Do you have Play-Doh? Yeah, I have Play-Doh. Okay, great. Do you have uh, maybe some paper and something to write with? Yep. Okay, awesome. How about a ruler? Yep. Centimeters? Oh, yeah. Okay, centimeter ruler and a, a longer tape measure and also yeah. centimeters. Okay, yep. great. So with that, let's dive in and get our hands dirty. Mariana, okay. are you ready? Yeah, awesome. Okay, got your Play-Doh handy? Yeah, got it. All right, I want you to take your Play-Doh and I want you to make an earth and a moon in the size relationship that you think they would be. Here's what I want you to do next. Put them down on a piece of paper and then take a marker and draw a circle around the outside. Draw the circumference of each of them, okay? Okay. Why don't you label the page prediction? Then take your ruler and measure the diameter of each, the Earth and the Moon. Okay, Mariana. I want you to take your Earth and Moon and space them out on the table to give an idea of how far apart you think they would be relative to their size, okay? Okay. So I think they would be about um, 25 centimeters apart. I want you to take your two models that you have now. I want you to recombine them and then I want you to break them apart into 50 separate pieces. So you're gonna go from one clump of Play-Doh to 50 pieces. We might have to roll them a little bit to make them uniform, okay? Yeah. So Mariana, are you interested in astronomy at all? Yeah, I think it's really interesting. What, what do you think is the most fascinating thing out there in the cosmos? Um, I guess how big the universe is and that we don't know that much about it. Okay, Mariana, are you ready to move on? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Take okay. one of your Play-Dohs, set it aside, and then take the other 49 and recombine them to make one. Okay. What do you think is the, the big, one of the big questions we're gonna ask next about space? Um, I guess um, how many other planets there are or if um, there are any aliens or anything like that, anything cool. Yeah, you know, I think about that too. All right now, Mariana, here's what I want you to do next. The same thing we did before, I want you to Draw the circumference around each of the balls of Play-Doh. What do you think we just made here? Um, is this a model of the Earth and the Moon? You got it. Okay, so let's do the same thing we did before. And let's measure the diameter across each. Mariana, tell me what you got this time. Um, my Earth is about six centimeters, which is about the same as last time, but my moon is about half the size as my last model. So Mariana, now that you have your final scale model, in terms of diameter, how many times bigger is the Earth 
than the moon? Um, my moon is about three times uh, as small as the Earth. So the Earth would be about three moon diameters across. Yeah. Okay. You know, astronomers tell us that the actual Earth-Moon comparison in terms of diameter is, is about four. So in reality, um, the Earth is, is, is actually about four moon diameters. Um, what do you think are some other ways that we can compare the Earth and the Moon besides diameter? Um, maybe um, how big they are, so how much volume? That's a great question. So based on your model, how many moon volumes is the Earth? Um, I guess since we split up the, our, um, the big lump of clay into 50 pieces and then saved one as the moon and then joined all the others together, then that would mean that the moon is about 1 50th of the Earth. That's exactly right. It's about 1 50th of the volume of the Earth. Okay, Mariana, we have an Earth, we have the moon. What do you think the next logical question might be? It would be how far apart they are. Exactly. So astronomers tell us that the distance between the Earth and the moon is about 30 Earth diameters. So what was your Earth diameter? It was 6.2 centimeters. Okay, 6.2 centimeters times 30 would be how much? It would be 186 centimeters. 186 centimeters. Is your ruler long enough? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, is your table long enough? Ch check your ruler and see how long it is. Okay. Yeah, my ruler is, yeah, it's, it reaches 186. So I put my earth at the very edge of my table and then um, the moon would be almost at the other edge. Mariana, when you compare your predicted model and your real model, the final model, um, how do they compare? What, uh, was there anything surprising to you? Um, I thought it was really surprising how small the moon is compared to the Earth. I definitely had the moon a lot bigger um, in the beginning. And what about the distance between them? Yeah, that was a really big shock. Um, the, it barely fit on my table. I, they were so far apart. Good. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. Okay, great. For everybody watching, let's just say we hope you learned a little bit about the Earth-Moon system and had fun doing the activity. We'll see you again for Saturday morning astrophysics at Purdue.